guys welcome back to my channel today is gonna be a reset day i just got back from a little mother's day trip today is actually mother's day but we celebrated yesterday i got back probably like half an hour ago and i just opened a bunch of packages that i got when i was gone i made a tiktok about it if you want to see what i got it was so fun because i never get that many packages at one time so it felt like christmas i felt like what's her name darcy mcqueenie on tiktok anyways now i have to clean up the aftermath you can see some of the stuff i got but i need to throw away this bag and then break down the boxes. I already broke down a few over here and tried to like consolidate as much as possible by stuffing all the boxes into each other so I can not be an annoying neighbor and take up the entire recycling bin. Basically what I need to get done today is break down these boxes, put all this PR away, unpack, clean up my apartment, make dinner. I have a HelloFresh meal that I need to use tonight before it goes bad. I'm trying to think what else. I would love to do my nails in this video. That will probably happen because it honestly needs to. I'm glad it's not focusing on my nails because they're ugly right now. <laughs> I was gonna have a meeting tonight, but it got canceled since it's Mother's Day, which I'm very happy about. But yeah, my apartment is messy right now. There's kind of stuff everywhere. I think maybe something that will help me get organized is to write it down in my planner. I just got a new planner and I actually wanna show you guys. Okay, so this is my new planner. It's so cute, it's from Urban Outfitters. It's like a soft cover, so it kind of looks like it would be a hard cover, but it's not, which I really like. And it is just a daily planner. So on this side, we have a to-do list right here, and then it has a timetable right here, so you can fill in what time you need to do everything. It has some little spots down here, and then it has this notes page, which some of you know. I also have my old planner, but this is a weekly one, so I think I will still use it for like bigger things maybe, but I just wanted something that had a little bit more detail and specifically a timetable, so I chose this new planner. But yeah, something I also like about this one is that it's like my old one where it has a full page where you can just write notes on one side of the spread, which I feel like is so nice because you can stay organized on one side and then you can just brain dump on the other. Anyway, so we're trying a new system and I'm gonna see if I like it. Today is Mother's Day, what's the date? The 12th. Before I fill in the timetable, I'm just gonna write down all of my to-dos first. everything is written down. I actually don't have a ton of like school or work stuff, which is nice. So I can just focus on like resetting my apartment and getting it back to normal, I guess. I did get a new comforter. So I'm gonna go see if the washer's open. And if it is, I will throw my new bedding in there so I can just get it over with and hopefully use it tonight. Ugh, that smells so weird. Ugh, oh my God. I almost gagged. You can kind of see what it's gonna look like. It's that like ruffly bedding. I don't know what it's called. Oh my God, this actually smells so weird. I really hope the washer's open. Oh my God, I keep getting whiffs of it. Okay, <laughs> let's go see. Okay, someone is using the washer, which is so unfortunate because that means I just missed it because nobody was using it when I got home. So I'm just gonna get the load of laundry ready so that when someone moves their stuff, I can go just put it in. having a sneezing fit because of that bedding. So hopefully once I wash it, it'll be fine. But I think I got a bit ahead of myself getting too excited to throw that in the washer because I totally forgot to put my to-do list into the timetable, which I feel like is the most important part. Like I said, that's why I got this journal because I want to really be able to plan out my days like super detailed. I think that's what I need because I have a really hard time focusing and I think assigning myself times to do things would really hold me accountable and get me to do it. So for example, right now it is one 30 p.m. I do wish that it was not in military time. That's the only thing I don't like about this, but I think by two o'clock, I want to have taken the recycling out and gotten my PR organized. So I'm gonna write that down. Also, I will have this planner linked if you guys want it. Next, by three, I wanna be totally unpacked. And then by four, I'll have cleaned the apartment. And then maybe around like six, I'll start making dinner. Here's what we have so far. That's less time than I thought I needed. So that's why it's kind of nice to plan these things out because then I can just add in other things, like the less important things as I go. I don't know if any of this is making sense. Basically right now, let's get all of this organized and taken out to the trash. I just ate lunch, putting some more PR away. I always forget to factor in meals when I'm planning out my day. So <laughs> I also was able to put my bedding in the washer, which is nice. I'm just putting away some random things right now, but I am about to start unpacking, which should not take long at all. I also filmed a little TikTok haul of a bunch of jewelry that I got recently. So if you wanna see that, go to my TikTok. But anyways, let's unpack. Okay guys, 
I feel like I was so productive right now. I just put away a bunch of random stuff in the apartment. I had a bunch of purses sitting on this chair right here. And so I took everything out of them. And I have this like purse drawer that pretty much has everything that I would want to put in a purse just organized here. So every time I want to grab a new purse, I can just go to this drawer and put everything in it. So now I just have one sitting right here. I feel like this is the one I use most often. I need to go put away this beach blanket. I just need to like fold it up properly. But other than that, everything is looking pretty good. There's some receipts over here that I need to go through. I also have these lashes right here and I think I'm gonna try to do them like today or tomorrow. As for my room, most things I would say are put away. I have a package right here that I need to return and some stuff that I need to donate. This is also from my closet clean out. I need to figure out what to do with that. I also need to put away my stuff that I got from TJ Maxx. I thought I'd actually show you guys. My mom and my grandma and I went shopping on Friday. We went to TJ Maxx and Ulta. So there's some Ulta stuff in this bag too, but I got these makeup wipes. My mom introduced me to these fragrance free ones. A lot of times I do use the little like reusable cloths, but when I run out of them or when I'm wearing like a lot of makeup, I like to use these ones. The fragrance free ones are very gentle on your skin and they don't like make your face sting, which I sometimes had with the other ones. I also got this little bottle of Panoxyl. I had never seen the small version. I have like the big tube of it and it can be annoying to travel with. So I thought it would be nice to have this one. I got a new beauty blender. And then at TJ Maxx, I also got these little bowls. I feel like I'm always running out of bowls at my apartment. And I also think that these ones are the perfect size. They're light pink. I feel like this is the perfect little ice cream bowl. I also got these flip flops, which I've been wearing the past couple days. I know a lot of you probably aren't gonna find these cute, but I really like them. I've been going to the beach more often and I've been wanting to get some cute flip flops because I don't really have any good beach shoes right now. So I got these ones and they have a little flower on them. I think they're so cute. They're very grandma-y and I know that because my grandma also got these. <laughs> my mom actually found them and she pointed them out to show to my grandma because she thought my grandma would like them. And I was like, wait, I really like those too. <laughs> so we each got a pair. They're also so comfortable. The brand is Clark's. I feel like a lot of flip flops can hurt your feet. So yeah, I really like these. Also, I just realized they're adjustable, which is nice. I don't know. I think they're the perfect little beach shoe. Aren't they just so cute? Like I know they look like grandma shoes, but I don't think that that's a bad thing. Anyways, that's everything I got. I love a good TJ Maxx haul or Marshalls or Home Goods or any one of those stores, but I think I'm pretty much unpacked. I'm just going to put this stuff away and then I'm going to start cleaning. Cabelos cor de mel singela Seu nome é Mabel Okay, I just grabbed my bedding from the dryer. Now I'm gonna make a quick coffee. I use the Calafia Farms iced coffee. This one is the unsweetened one. I just get whichever kind they have at Target. But I've been really liking Calafia Farms recently. I also use the Natural Bliss Almond Creamer. This is the vanilla one. And this is probably my favorite creamer like ever. I'm gonna use my little watermelon straw. I got a pack of these fruit straws from Amazon and I just love them so much. Okay, let's try it. Perfect. I'm gonna throw some whipped cream on there too. Beautiful. Okay, now I need to put my new bedding on. I need to vacuum and mop. And then I should be good for cleaning. There were some things that I cleaned that I didn't film. Like I didn't film myself doing the bathroom just cause it's like a hard space to film and clean. There's not many good angles. And then stuff in my room I did without filming. Sometimes cleaning and filming at the same time can be just super inconvenient. Cause I just want to get this done. I don't enjoy cleaning. And so I'm trying to get it done as fast as possible and trying to like get all these good angles it can just be like tedious. So sometimes I don't like to clean while filming, but anyways, especially actually if I do like vacuuming and mopping, don't love filming that because that is my least favorite cleaning chore to do. And it's also just a boring thing to like watch. I feel like it is kind of satisfying maybe. Anyways, I need to stop complaining about filming myself cleaning. <laughs> Let's go do my bed, then we'll do the floors. Here is my bedding. I am not as obsessed 
obsessed with it as I thought I was going to be because it's a little bit darker of a color than it looked like online. It looked like more of this like cream color, but it's a little bit more like beige, which is not even picking up on camera. So now I sound like I am just colorblind, but I swear it's like a little darker, but I do like it, I think. We'll see. I'm also planning on staining my nightstands a darker wood, which I was gonna do when I first bought them, but then I ended up liking the color that they are, this like lighter wood color, but I think like a little bit darker of a wood, like this color wood or this color is a little bit more timeless maybe. I just think it looks a little bit nicer. So I think I am gonna stain these. I also think it's really weird how the legs are a different color than the actual nightstand. I don't know why it's like that. So hopefully staining it will fix that. And I think it'll make it look so nice with the darker nightstands in this bedding. I also didn't change the sheets cause they don't need to be changed yet, but I did put new pillowcases on. I got these silk ones from Amazon. I really like the way that they look. But yeah, so this is just a comforter. It's not a duvet and it seems like it's gonna be pretty breathable, but still heavy enough to where like it's comforting. If you know what I mean? Like I feel like the lighter bedding like I had on this quilt and it's like super, super thin and it was pretty uncomfortable to sleep with because I just felt so unsafe. I felt like I was just like bare. I don't know if that makes sense, but the weighted duvets and comforters, not like a weighted blanket. That's not what I'm talking about. Just like the natural weight of a duvet is a little bit heavier and I feel like it makes you feel very safe and comforted. Whereas that quilt was not doing that for me, but it is getting hotter. So I needed to have a lighter comforter. So that's what I went with. I also did see a spider while I was putting that on my bed and I am so upset about that and really trying not to think about it too hard. <laughs> Haven't seen a spider in a while and I have been very glad about that. But anyways, now I'm gonna do the floors, which I really don't wanna do, but we're gonna suck it up and do it. <laughs> I wrote down in my planner that I wanted to be done cleaning by 4 p.m. So I'm super proud of myself. I am on schedule and that included washing, drying, and putting on my new bedding. So I'm gonna go ahead and check a couple things off. I think for a bit, I'm just gonna chill and kind of do nothing. Maybe I'll actually sit and edit some TikToks because I've been meaning to do that. Also, I started the dishwasher if you hear that going. I also do wanna wash my ice maker. So I think I'll get that going right now because it takes 30 minutes. And then I'm gonna just sit down and edit some TikToks. I think Braden and I are going to go grocery shopping in a bit. He's cleaning his apartment right now too. So once he's done with that, then we'll go. But I don't want to be like tired from cleaning and then go straight to grocery shopping and then cooking afterwards. Like that does not sound fun. So yeah, I'm just going to sit down for a bit and relax because I really want to be productive today, but I don't want to get burnt out quickly. So that's the plan. Hi everyone. So it's actually the next day. I ended up having a rough night last night. I don't know what came over me. Me and Brayden went to Target to go grocery shopping and then I started feeling really nauseous. We were supposed to make dinner together after that, but he ended up just making it for both of us, which was very, very nice. So I was feeling weird physically. And then, I don't know, it just turned into like a rough mental health night too, even though nothing really happened. Like there was no particular reason for me to have gotten like super emotional randomly, I guess, but did not do anything last night early. It was nice that I did my little reset in the beginning of the day because then I didn't really have to do anything that night. So it was nice. I actually got to like take a break and do nothing thing when my mental health was bad and sometimes I just don't have the luxury of doing that because of like school usually but anyways it's probably like four o'clock right now literally 3 59 oh my god I got home from class a little bit ago we watched Oppenheimer today which is a three hour long movie so I was tired I was really trying not to fall asleep it's a good movie it's just long I don't know it's not my favorite movie let's just say that also my hair I just don't think it looks good today I feel like it looks kind of weird I tried to do the Delaney Child's messy bun that was like really popular on TikTok, but this is just not that. I just did like a messier version of it. It's kind of hurting my head actually. I'm gonna take it out. I also found out today that I am going to be going to LA on Wednesday, which is in two days. What is even going on here? My hair is like stuck. Oh, it's gonna be so tangled, ew. What am I even accomplishing right now? Ugh. 
Ow. Okay, anyways, I can't remember what I just said. I'm going to an event in LA on Wednesday. Today is Monday. How many rubber bands did I have in here? Jesus. And the event is in the morning, so I'm kind of just gonna leave first thing. This is rough. What? Ow. Oh my god, what did I? How did I? I literally, I don't know how I did this. Okay, we're, we're done. Okay, just excuse how I look in general right now because I know it's rough. <laughs> anyways, I need to prepare for that. I was going to do my nails in this video anyways, so I started on them before for my class and I'm gonna keep working on them right now. I also want to go to Ulta and actually get a product from the brand that's hosting the event. I had been wanting to try a specific product for them for a long time anyways, so I thought it would be fun to wear that product to the event. It's like an SPF, like body shimmery oil type of thing. Okay, I'm having a bad hair day, so we are throwing it in a low bun. I'm also gonna go work out tonight. I haven't worked out in a minute and I wanna get back into that routine. I'm not sure if I want to do a home workout or just go to the gym, because I did buy some weights recently. My makeup looks so weird right now. I don't know why. Clearly, I am not feeling myself today. Anyways, I'm gonna pick out an outfit for the event. It's with Kopari. I don't know if I said that. It's gonna be at Parakeet Cafe in Santa Monica, because I think they're doing a collaboration on a smoothie. So I'm really excited about that. I think it's gonna be so fun. I'm sure it's gonna taste great. I really wanna wear a dress or just something summery and a little bit more dressy. So let's see what we can find. this. I don't think it's gonna be super warm, so I'll probably need to wear something that is longer. I'm not sure what I'll pair it with, though. I might want to do, like, some cute heels. I just want to get dressed up so bad. That was easier than I thought. I did not think I was gonna find something so easily that I wanted to wear. Okay, let me show you my nails that I started on. I'm gonna do the little French tips on this hand, too, and I'm thinking maybe some flowers on the white ones. So I'm gonna work on these right now. I don't think I'll be able to finish them. I need to go to Ulta and work out before it gets too late, so we'll just work on them for as long as I can. are actually pretty much done. They ended up being kind of quick because the designs were easy, but I was also rushing them a little bit so they don't look amazing or anything. Here is what they look like. I just did little flowers and then little like dots on the French tip ones. I definitely rushed the flowers because I didn't want to do like what I had actually envisioned because it was just going to be too hard and it would take a long time. And I just wanted to get these done, but I think they're really cute actually. I just need to put a top coat on them, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. I really need to eat something before I go to Ulta. Again, I always forget to factor in time for meals. That's all for right now. I'm gonna go eat something. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, we are heading to Ulta. Sorry, I'm chewing gum, which is probably annoying, so I'll make this quick. Like I said, I want to get something from that brand, so I'm gonna see what like stands out to me. I'm so excited. <laughs> Okay, this lighting is awful, but I got the Kalpari Golden Amber Sun Shield Body Glow with SPF 30. I've been wanting a sunscreen that's also like gonna make you look tan and shimmery, I guess. So I'm super excited to try this. again it is the next day first of all i just want to say i'm so sorry for all the weird filming over the past day or two i think the last thing that i filmed was me doing my nails which turned out so cute actually better than i thought that they were going to i really like them i am just touching up my makeup again because i didn't have time to do very much this morning and i want to go a couple places right now i ordered some cookies from crumble they have the mini ones now so i ordered some of those and then after that i need to go get gas because i don't want to have to do that tomorrow morning when I leave for LA. I'm gonna have to leave at like eight on the dot if I want to get there on time. And that means I'm just getting mascara all over the place. <laughs> that means that I need to probably wake up at like six if I want to give myself like plenty of time to get ready, go all out. Cause it's not like I'm just getting ready for class. I actually want to like look really good <laughs> and I need to eat something. And I just want to make sure I have enough time to like really take my time and be comfortable just in case anything goes wrong or whatever. I think you guys know that I have been really enjoying going to LA recently, which 
is a shock to me because after moving out, I thought I would never want to go back. I thought I would be over it and it would just be like almost traumatic for me to go back because I was in such a low place in my life when I lived there. But now I feel like I have been able to fully heal from all of that. I think the distance allowed me to do that. And now I enjoy going back. I also have some friends in LA still who I love and want to be able to see more often. So I've been trying to make as many trips as I can. And I've been wanting to go to more like brand events and just start saying yes to more things because the drive is really not that bad. It's only two hours and that is fine with me. I'm used to longer road trips. So I think I already said I'm going with my friend Olivia. I always need to add more mascara right here. Mascara, concealer, because my upper lip gets so red. And then I also need to go to Target to get just like a couple small things. But most importantly, I need to pick up a prescription at the CVS inside my Target. So that's the plan for probably like the next hour. Also, I do want to say I'm so sorry that this vlog has been a little bit weird and all over the place. It's probably been really messy to watch. And so I'm sorry about that. I happen to be filming this during a time where I am just not doing good mentally. In all honesty, like recently in general, I have not been doing very well with my mental health, but especially the past few days. But I don't want to let that like stop me from filming because I want to show you guys those days because I feel like some of you have the impression that I am just so productive. My life is perfect and amazing and I'm happy all the time when like that is so, so not the case. And while I am so incredibly grateful for my life and aware of the fact that like I live a very good life, mentally things just get hard sometimes and I find it hard to feel that happiness and excitement even though I know that like I have a good life, you know? I hope that makes sense. That's just what I've been going through recently. It's just a weird feeling. But anyways, I think I'm just about ready. I'm just gonna leave my hair down because it actually doesn't look bad. I just had it in braids all day. I also made a coffee when I got home from class and I used this like cold foam for the first time. You can like buy cold foam now at like Target or any grocery store or whatever. It looks the same as like a whipped cream bottle. I don't know, I think that's new. I had never seen that before, but it's really good. And I love finding little ways to make my coffee more fun even though I should probably stop because that just makes me want to drink it more but okay I need to go I'm supposed to pick up my cookies in the next half hour so we are gonna head over there then get gas then go to Target okay we have the cookies I think they ran out of the small boxes because this is all I got but I am so excited to try them I'm gonna film a little TikTok doing a taste test so if you want to see that go to my TikTok mm -hmm. 